Beautiful blossoms are emerging across Northern California. Drone 13 flying high above an almond orchard near Woodland. It gives you this breathtaking view. And those blooms, they mark the start of an agriculture event like no other. CBS 13's Elizabeth Kling takes us inside what beekeepers call the big dance. Well, here we go. Hidden inside these wooden boxes lining Northern California almond orchards. There they are. There they are. Thousands of tiny workers are busy getting ready. How many bees would be inside? Oh, 30,000. And beekeeper John Miller couldn't be more excited for what they're about to do next. This is the biggest paid pollination event on earth. I mean, nothing even comes close. Beekeepers from across the country have spent weeks shipping their bees in by the truckload to Northern California as almond growing has outpaced the supply of local commercial colonies. California beekeepers represent five, 600,000 hives. The demand for beehives in the almonds is about 2.4 million hives. Miller's bees have spent the last several months in what he calls a state of deep rest inside special storage units in North Dakota. 40 semi loads later, his 16,000 hives are now strategically placed among California crops. The entrance is down here. He tells me then it's just a matter of keeping them content. The smoke is used to calm the bees. And until the almond trees are in bloom, these special nutrition patties are placed inside the colony to keep the bees fed. Once the blossoms open up, the hungry bees get busy making almond magic. Because these trees can't run over and hug each other. They need an insect to do the work. So just how much of an impact can bees have on an almond crop? We're getting answers. If an almond grower didn't have honeybees, he'd probably get 400 pounds per acre. With the honeybees, he can tip 4,000 pounds per acre. So it's just this exponential benefit of having the pollinators in the field. From these fields, Miller will move his colonies to pollinate plum trees near Yuba City then apples in Washington state before finally returning to North Dakota where they'll make honey and rest. But for now, it's all about almonds as these buzzing creatures give mother nature a boost. This is like a great job. I've got the best job in the world. I get to see agriculture at scale like nothing else in the world. Miller's family actually helped pioneer the concept of transporting bees across state lines for crops in the early 1900s. And now it's become the norm. And guys, I actually got to try some of that nutrition patty that we put inside the hive to feed the bees. It was pretty good, actually. A little bit like candy, mm. maybe like taffy. It had a little okay. lemongrass flavor.